what God says about you. If God says you are not poor, you are rich. Don't look at your bank account. Because when you look at the bank account, the devil will scratch your shoulder and say, Mama, you have 2,000 rand only. And you left the check saying, I'm not poor, I'm rich. You look at your bank account and you say, ah, you know, the Lord are just change things. There is nothing like change things. What God says about you, believe it. Amen. Remember, God has honored his word more than he has honored his own name. So whatever he says about you, believe it. You know, you should know who you are. Amen. Last time we read the book of Ephesians from uh, chapter 1, we listed some things that God says about you. You have been chosen. You have been chosen to be holy. And you are without blame before God in love. You have been predestined. You have been adopted. You are fully accepted by God through Christ Jesus. Believe that. Don't worry about what the enemy whispers to you. Because the enemy remembers the accuser. And what he wants is to discredit you. Um, you can write this with these two verses down. Genesis 15, verse 6. Genesis 16, 15, verse 6. The same scripture is echoed in Romans 4, verse 3. Genesis 15, verse 6, and Romans 4, verse 3. Genesis 15, verse 6 says, uh, you see, if you write notes when it's a of God and teaching, Bible study becomes easy. I'm taking this one from your prayer for example. When you mentioned about Abraham, that's why I took this one. Uh, I was reading and you were pulling out the verses and it's track record of baby. Genesis 15 verse 6, if you remember the prayer points Pastor Rashid gave us last week. The Bible says after Abraham, you know, and talking with the angels and uh, God, verse 6 says, and Abraham believed, he believed God, and God declared him righteous. Why did God believe they declare him righteous? Jesus said, not a time for our sins. When we pray them. Why did God declare Abraham righteous? What did Abraham do? He believed. Just to believe in God's word, God declared him righteous. If you read this from the Message Bible, it says, And Abraham believed God, and God declared him set right with God. You see where we get the definition for righteousness? When we say righteousness, it means good standing with God. The Bible then says, Abraham was declared set right with God. The book of Romans chapter 4 verse 3 echoes the same thing. It says from the Amplified Version, For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed in, trusted in God, and it was credited to his account as righteousness. In brackets, right living and right standing with God. Believe what God says about you. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. Believe what God says about you. Some of the things that we don't believe are things that his servants say to us. You know, it's easy sometimes to read from the scripture and believe. But when God's servant makes a declaration by revelation, we look at ourselves and we say, ah, me. When God's servant declares and says, you don't know what he's saying in the spirit. And he says, I'm seeing businessmen in this place. And you look at yourself and you're like, Ah, in this place, me, ah, maybe Minister Sarafina or maybe those one. You rule yourself up. You are already cutting out the declaration. Why? You did not believe. And when you do not believe, you are already affecting righteousness. It means your precedent of righteousness is not fully on. Because if you believe what the Bible says about you, then you have to believe what is for us. Say and speak upon your life. Hallelujah. Is this understandable? It might make it easy to understand. Point number four. Yeah, I, I will. Um, I will need to explain point number four very well. Point number four. Obey instructions from God. Obey instructions from God. When you put on the breastplate of righteousness, you are saying, Lord, whatever you tell me to do, I will do it. Hallelujah. When God says love your neighbor, you are going to love your neighbor. Okay? When God says give, it shall be given unto you. It's not a request. You are going to give. 
When God says pray all kinds of prayers, you are going to pray all kinds of prayers. When God says bring your time to the house of the Lord, 